Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. You don't talk too much, do you? I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big mess of trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. He advised uh, medical personnel and there's a hard steel, very intense and funny coming in. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? I got much choice? Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're All sitting. officers are available for incoming to one. Then before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's gotta stop. But that's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. What's out? This other time... <laughs> Officer, are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Why the hell did he have his gun out? 
There's a shotgun zone. Officer. Anybody? I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. No ladder. <laughs> I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Anybody up there? Help! I 
wonder if anybody's home. I wonder if anybody's home. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Hello? There's something going on. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Hmm. The Marsh House. That's a Savannah area code. That's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. What's that beeping? guy near the hotel so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out anyway he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight so we're staying an extra day thanks so much for looking after Clementine and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break message two left at 11 19 p.m. oh my god finally I don't know if you tried to reach us all, all the calls are getting dropped and they're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three. 